Now we have this medical miracle. A Pennsylvania man found frozen to death, or seemingly frozen to death in a snowbank. He had no heartbeat, he had no pulse, but one doctor refused to give up. And ABC's TJ Holmes, you're here gracing us with your presence. You're gonna tell us all about this incredible yeah, story. Alive and well, it's a miracle this guy's alive and well. Like you said, no heartbeat, he had, of course, no pulse, he's got no brain activity, he's not breathing, body is frozen solid. Paramedics come out and actually put the sheet over his body at the scene, a death investigation underway. So he's up and walking around back from the dead. Why? Because of a doctor who decided to forego logic and go with his gut. This morning, 26 year old Justin Smith is grateful to be alive after nearly freezing to death. I started shaking his head. No, no, you can't leave me. You can't leave me. Last February, Don Smith found his son unconscious in a snowbank. He'd been there overnight where temperatures had dipped to four degrees below zero. He was blue, his, his, his face, he was lifeless. And the coroner was on scene, the state police was on scene. They were doing essentially a death investigation. All, all signs lead, to, lead us to believe that he's been dead for a considerable amount of time. But Dr. Gerald Coleman didn't give up, refusing to pronounce him dead. He and his team at Lehigh Valley Hospital performed CPR for two hours as they slowly started warming Justin's stiff, cold body. And then, over the next few days, doctors say his brain miraculously went from showing no activity to normal activity. We knew we needed a big, big miracle. Using a special machine that pumps, warms, and provides more oxygen to his blood, his heart started beating on its own. No, I've never even heard anything like this. This is, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's something I've never heard of, and I can't thank everyone enough. Smith lost all his toes and both pinky fingers, but has since made a near-complete recovery. It was like I woke up from a dream, but it wasn't a dream, you know? And Larry, you were asking, well, what was he doing out there in the first place? He was walking home from a party, a walk he has made a million times. They think possibly he slipped, hit his head, and was just stuck out there unconscious. Now, his body was frozen solid. It's cra crazy and morbid as this sounds. Just like you have meat in the refrigerator, if you want to preserve it, you put it in the freezer. So is that and what wow. his brain? I was going to say his brain it's is quite, fully functioning? That's the part they can't figure out. It seems as if his body was frozen solid. So it was preserved, essentially. Oh. When the body heated up, the body came back alive. I mean, Literally, this really is, is what happened. And two hours of CPR. Yeah. And that the is, doctor didn't incredible. give up. They said this could possibly that, change that's the, real the history the story, uh, moving forward. Give up. All those cryogenic people are going to... We can live forever. <laughs>